The AFC East is the most predictable division in recent memory. I think we all know who the best team in the AFC East is. The Bills, obviously. No, it's the Patriots, who still have Tom Brady and Belichick, who is coming off arguably the best offseason of his coaching career. Now, I don't have the Pats going undefeated as many people do, because the start of the second half of the season features a lot of hard matchups on the road, including two straight weeks at high elevation against the Broncos, and then the Raiders in Mexico City. They'll lose one of those games. Uh, the Miami Dolphins are going to be a similar team to last season. I think Jay Cutler is a competent replacement for Ryan Tannehill, who's coming off the best season of his career. Uh, Cutler and Adam Gase work together in Chicago. They seem to have a strong relationship. But Miami's success will depend on if their defense plays with as much talent as they seem to have on paper. For the last two years, that hasn't been the case. The Bills are in a transition period. I don't expect a lot from them. I like their O-line, but their corners are young, and they lost a lot on defense. I do like the addition of Micah Hyde from Green Bay, though. Uh, he'll keep Brady from throwing long. Finally, the Jets will finish dead last because they're trying to lose on purpose, as they should. So I have the Patriots finishing 14-2 with the Dolphins just missing out on a wild card spot once again as a borderline playoff team. The Bills will go 6-10 and and the Jets will squeeze out a win sometime around week 15. So no teams in the East filling a wild card spot, but I do have the Patriots clinching home field advantage. Bold prediction there.